Tonight, Reverend Ronald Wright, a well-known civil rights activist in Dallas, is mourning the death of his grandson, who was gunned down in one of the same communities that he has long fought for. The shooting happened late last night in Pleasant Grove. Jobin Panneker is live tonight. Jobin, you spoke with the Reverend Wright tonight. Well, as you know, the Reverend wears many hats, but tonight we saw him as a grandfather, and he says his grandson Tyreek was supposed to start work today, but instead the family is planning his funeral. When we saw Yanika, we saw a person shattered. My baby. Her youngest son Tyreek died Wednesday night. He was shot walking home from the convenience store just around the corner. You didn't take his money. You didn't, you didn't take his phone. You didn't take his jewelry. You just took his life. The family tells us Tyreek went to get snacks for his fiance and their child. For him and his brother both were just good, quiet, good kids. Good boys, mother raised them and she did a great job in raising them. Reverend Ronald Wright is Tyreek's grandfather, an activist for years, calling for an end to violence, only to see it strike so close. The Reverend read from a note Tyreek sent out just days before he died, pledging his life to God. That makes all this bittersweet. For the Reverend, there is also frustration at the community. But I can't get mad at what police officers do to you all the time and you're doing it to yourself and I don't say nothing. Dallas police is searching for the shooter. This video surveillance shows a minivan, a Honda Odyssey, speeding through the neighborhood. Police believe it is connected and they are hoping people come forward. He didn't even have a chance. Yanika's home was filled with family and friends. Everybody here is stunned and numb. I see this on TV all the time, people talking about their kids and me like, wow. But few will understand it's me today. how a mother feels. Me today. Joe Paniker, Channel 8 News.